Good day, First World Travellers, and welcome back. Let me start by asking you a question. Where do you think the largest pyramids are in the world? Pyramids of Giza in Egypt, Luxor Casino in Las Vegas? Wrong and wrong, because in this video, I'm in Cholula. Behind me is the world's largest pyramid. Yes, the world's largest pyramid. Let's take a look around. The bells! Let me ask you a question. Oh, for f***ing hell, there's a drone. Right, they're letting off fireworks, and it costs £7.50. £7.50, that'll f***. I said at the beginning of this video that it's like, oh, f***, bloody helicopters, and drones, and fireworks. So here's the view of Puebla. Not off. Oh, All those other things that you remember from your maths at school. Typical. And I didn't put this in the tier tech. Oh, f it's been ringing for like 10 minutes. I've been waiting, but I can't wait any longer. So as you can probably tell, I finally left Mexico City after two months of being there. A few days ago, I came to Puebla, which is about two hours to the southeast of Mexico City on the bus. Cholula is slightly to the west of Puebla. It's about seven kilometers from downtown Puebla, depending on where you're staying in Puebla. And there are a number of ways you can get here. So obviously you can get a tour. The, this area of Mexico is very tourist orientated, but as you'd expect, this is quite expensive. You can get a bus from the main bus station in Puebla, the Capo bus station, which is in basically the north of the city. Or if you want to do it on the cheap, like me, I don't do tours, you can get a local bus, which only costs seven pesos 50 cents, which is amazing. It takes about half an hour to 40 minutes to get here. Jump off the bus anywhere near the pyramid, wherever you want to jump off. I actually jumped off a moving bus today. First time for everything. So that's how you get here basically. We're now going to go have a look at the pyramid and I'm going to tell you a bit about the history. It's immense. Let's go. So there appears to be a museum at the base of the pyramid. Museo Regional di Cholula. So from what I can understand, this museum is normally 40 pesos to get in, but for some reason today it's free. Maybe they were attracted to my good looks. Probably not. But yeah, so basically this museum, I believe, just shows you all about the history of Cholula, Puebla. There's something about volcanoes as well. We're going to have a look, see what we can discover. So as usual in Mexican museums, I'm told off for filming within seconds of walking into the place. But the first bit was cool. Um, remember I went to Is Taxiwatal Volcano and pop a cat of petal so there's a lot about the history in there everything i said in that video is also detailed in there about the two people the woman the snow white of mexico effectively um, and you apparently you can see pop a cat of petal i think it might be over, over the other side the weather's pretty good today so you never know we might be in luck probably won't be so something momentous has happened you may have seen in other videos when i go to art museums anything to do with art i find it really boring but this place is the best place i've ever been in terms of art it's amazing because it's slightly weird and wacky so there's one section from an artist in mexico city who basically he was very ill and he was like delusional he had a dream that he was in some sort of forest with these weird animals like donkeys with wings and dragons and strange fish and they all looked very odd and basically as a result of his dream he created all this art fascinating there's another bit as well about um, the zapotec calendar where there's basically animals created from the Zapotec calendar. Things like cats, owls, things like that. Wonderful. And there's another section about Pueblan artifacts, ceramics, cookery items, that sort of thing. But there's a section at the back about death. And it was really interesting. There's these great skeleton things and sculpture sort of artwork sort of thing. And the way I can describe it, this might sound really silly, but if you watch Star Trek, you'll know that when Lieutenant Worf talks about dying, a Klingon, his, where he goes as a result of his death is about how he dies in terms of uh, being a warrior and things like that. And it was basically the same with the people in this area back in the day. It, how they, they didn't go to heaven if they led a good life. It was about how they died. So if they died in combat or something, they went somewhere. 
etc. All in all, it's really interesting. Um, so come here before you go to the pyramid. The pyramid is behind me. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Let's continue. So here's the view of Cholula. I think that's Puebla in the distance over there. You've got Frida Kahlo thing there. So as I said before, Frida Kahlo is very popular throughout Mexico. You can hear fireworks ahead. Okay, we've got a map. Where am I? Am I there? I think. I don't know. Oh my god. So basically the church is up there somewhere. The Zona Archaeologica is that way. So basically there's a lot of other archaeological finds. I have no words. Look. Bench, tape, no access. You can't go up there. As you can see, I found another way to the top. I hope at least I hope it's going to the top. Otherwise this is gonna be a wasted journey. Oh god, altitude breath again it's like i'm climbing a volcano literally Ta -da! success we have found the way up to the church i think i'll tell you a little bit about this place now and regain my composure so despite the bell ringing and almost being killed by fireworks those children are collecting them i'm literally in the death zone right now there's two next to me the view up here is amazing so i can actually see popocatapetl over there in the distance the outline i don't know if you can probably not so i said at the beginning of this video that the pyramids of giza are smaller they are taller in terms of height but in terms of volume length width area those kind of things this is much bigger it's 450 meters by 450 meters absolutely massive so it doesn't really look like a pyramid up close you know if you think of the ones in tot we can pyramids of the sun much smaller and they are all excavated so the thing with this place it's like a big hill basically it hasn't been fully excavated there's an archaeological zone down there where you can see some of the places that have been excavated and basically this place has a similar sort of history to teotihuacan in that it was built well it started to be built in 300 bc but it took basically 10 centuries to be in the state that, it, that it's in now and similarly with teotihuacan it wasn't there wasn't really proof of who built it basically and it had numerous sort of owners over the years from the Aztecs, the Spanish when they conquered Mexico. So that church up there is Spanish from the 16th century. Just look at that view, man. Amazing. So Mexico continues to ruin the YouTube experience. I'm not allowed to film in there or take photos. So I'm gonna put some photos from Google if I can find some over the top of this so you can see what it looks like. Oh my god, you can see now. Amazing. Oh no, go up, go up, not down. Come on, stabilizer. There's guys playing music. Gold. Very impressive in there. Oh, there's a chandelier up the top as well. Very nice. Where's the chandelier? There we go. Ha! I filmed in there. Ha ha ha. So I've just sat in there for a few minutes. It is a real shame that you can't film because it is actually quite beautiful in there compared to some of the other ones I've seen. Very ornate, etc. I did manage to take one photo, a covert photo, while I was sitting down. They're playing music again. That's one of the really interesting things because they're playing music while you're sitting there, that sort of thing, typical Mexican music. The chandelier is amazing and the artwork in the dome up the top is sensational. So, um, yes. You've got to come here if you're in Prebla. This is top notch. Let's go walk down. I've now entered the archeological zone, which is just down the slope from 
the church at the top. It costs 70 pesos to get in, so it's not free. So as I said before, this was built over a period of 10 centuries. So what's that? A thousand years, yeah? And there's various influence from different peoples that were in the area like the Toltecs, Aztecs, and then the Spanish, as I said. And it's only been excavated down to a certain level, so there's much more to go. The excavation only started in 1931, apparently, so not very long ago. And this whole area was once covered in thick vegetation and lagoons, things like that. So it's all basically, basically been cleared. And when the Spanish came, from what I understand, it was all completely covered. They didn't know it was a pyramid, and they put the church on the top. Fireworks. They probably won't hit me from here. So that's what I mean, an altar, where presumably sacrifices may or may not have happened. And under the, underneath this area during the excavation, there were many bodies found, some of which were decapitated apparently. So clearly there is some kind of history of sacrifice in Mexican history, regardless of what you hear and what you say. And there are, of course, similarities to Teotihuacan. So I didn't put this in the Teotihuacan video, but down there, there are murals. So murals and muralists are famous in both modern day Mexico and also ancient times. And obviously it's covered up by something for protection. So overall, my day at Cholula has been awesome, despite almost being killed by fireworks. And basically, this is another example of the rich history of Mexico. I didn't expect Mexico to have history like this. It's very interesting, very diverse, and places like this in Teotihuacan are the perfect education if you want to learn more. Rather than just lie on a beach in Cancun, there is so much more to Mexico than that. And as I've said before, and as many subscribers have said, you could literally spend a year in Mexico and still only scratch the surface. And that's, I'm not even close to scratching the surface, to be honest with you. So up next is a video from actual Puebla, a little walk around downtown Puebla and see what is to offer there. Then we're off to Oaxaca. So if you've enjoyed having a look around, and if you want to see more videos from Mexico, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, leave a like and leave a comment, which I'm sure you're all going to do. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.